Hey everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy. Okay, today's video is a little bit different. So if you're here because you clicked on a link from another video that you were watching of mine about how to set up a Rust server, then this video is actually gonna totally make sense for you. However, if you're watching this video simply because it came up as one of my videos, this probably might not make a lot of sense for you, but I'm going to explain everything that we know about this situation so far. So my comment section recently has been flooded with people getting the same error, and my typical response to that problem when they get that error is they've either run out of space on the drive that they're trying to write to or Steam CMD doesn't have permission to write to that location. This has been an ongoing thing for at least two years now. However, just recently, we believe that Steam has made an update to the actual Steam CMD application, which that in itself is causing the error. So today, as soon as I got home from work, I immediately started to set up a brand new server as if I were starting from scratch. So I downloaded the latest version of Steam CMD directly from the same link that I gave to all of you guys and I went through the same processes that I teach everyone that watches any of my videos and everything worked just fine for me and I ended up with a folder looking just like the one that you see on the screen right now everything looks exactly the way that I would expect it to this is the way it has looked for at least the two years that I've been doing tutorials on this. So one of two things is happening here. Either they've fixed the issue that was causing the right error to begin with, or this is an intermittent issue that is actually caused by Steam CMD. I don't know. I don't know what is actually causing it to happen for one person, and it didn't happen for me just now, like five minutes ago. So what it is, is this folder right here, this Steam apps, is not generating properly. However, if you manually just create a folder in this directory where you want to write these files to if you just manually put in a folder in there apparently that fixes this issue so it's like steam cmd has lost the ability of creating this folder for you even though it creates all the other ones no problem i don't really understand it so if you manually put in this folder it will generate the files inside it as it's supposed to so i know this is going to be a little bit small for you guys to see on my screen but i'm going to give this a whirl anyways so typically speaking if you followed my tutorial word for word this is what you would end up with you would end up with a folder that has two subdirectories in it one of them them for Steam CMD, the other one for your actual Rust server. So inside Steam CMD, this is where you would extract Steam CMD to, and you would then operate going forward from this folder. We'll just go up one folder, we'll go into the Rust server. So this Rust server folder is where we're going to tell SteamD to actually install all of the files to. But before we go ahead and do that, what you want to do is just manually put in a new folder. So right click, create new, new folder, and that'll create you a new folder. And then you want to rename that folder Steam Apps. I'll lower case no space and then you would go back into steam cmd you would go through the exact processes that i talked about on my previous tutorials and you would write your files like you normally would apparently this is the fix i'm actually incredibly frustrated that it wasn't able to actually replicate this problem that you guys are having so for that i apologize however i'm hoping that this workaround is going to work for anybody that has this problem while setting up their new server so let me know in the comment section down below whether this works for you or not or i'm hoping by the time you guys see this video that actually Steam CMD found that there was a problem and fixed it and this is no longer going to be an issue and nobody ever watches this video ever. I just wanted to get you guys this information as soon as I possibly could. No, this is not going to replace the video that I'm going to be putting out on Friday. So I know this is outside of my regular upload time. I don't care. I just needed to get this information into your hands. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Leave me a great big fat thumbs up and I'll see you guys all again on Friday.